Hi students, today you're going to sign up for Prezi accounts. Unfortunately, if you do not have an email, you're going to have to create this project on a PowerPoint. The PowerPoint or the how to make a PowerPoint video should still be online, so watch that if you forgot how to use PowerPoint. You have to have a Prezi or a PowerPoint due by the end of this week. Now, what is the PowerPoint or Prezi about? The Prezi is about, and the Prezi and PowerPoint are pretty much the same thing, except that Prezi has a zoom feature, and you can move things around, and the PowerPoint does not, but they're both presentation tools. You show things. Let me walk you through how to sign up first, and then we'll talk more about what needs to be on your Prezi or PowerPoint. So when you click on the link, you'll go to this page. Fill out this information here. Make sure you click on here where it says, I understand that my pre Prezi's will be published, and then go re hit register and continue. Once you've once you signed up, you'll see this page here. Click on the new Prezi button down here. Title your Prezi. Title your Prezi Volcanoes here in the title. Everybody needs to have Volcanoes as their title. And then by your name, for example, I would write my name right there. What is your Prezi going to be about? And I'll show you what a Prezi looks like in a minute. But your Prezi is going to be about what volcanoes are. It could be about facts about the three types of volcanoes. It can be about the different kinds of lava. It can be about how volcanoes form in the ring of fire. And I'll show you more details in a minute. Click on the new Prezi button now. Once you're on this screen, click one of these templates. These templates are like the background of your Prezi presentation. Since mine's going to be about volcanoes, I am going to use, hmm, I like this one here, which is the stepping stone. I'm using this one here. Oh, the perspective one is nice. Then click Start Editing. So when you're here on the Prezi workspace, these circles here are your actual tools. Of course, you can explore at your own pace, but if you click on insert, it means you want to put something in. We're learning about the types of volcanoes and your presentations on volcanoes. So let's say you want to start off with the most positive volcano, or more explosive volcano, sorry. So I'm typing in composite volcano. You can search the web and then save the files on your desk drive, or you can actually do it right here from the Prezi. Let's click on search. Ooh, perfect. I like this picture right here. Then you click OK, and then now you're going to have that picture in your presentation. You can move the picture wherever you want. This toolbar here makes it make it smaller or bigger. This toolbar makes it go side to side. If you want the picture smaller, you click on the negative. If you click on the hand, you can move it around, or this wheel on the outside. Now, how do you add words? You just click on anywhere of the um, in the PowerPoint, or I mean the Prezi. Here, you double click on this white area, you see this box appear. Here you can write details. You can change color and title. I like this one. I'm gonna leave it right here. Okay, now here's the real cool part, part about Prezi. You can click and drag on the white space, drag it to the number two, for example, and then let's add another picture. So I drew a cone using the shape one, shape button here in the circle toolbar, and then I typed in cone shaped and highly explosive, and then now I clicked on the path button here. That tells it uh, how to move in and zoom in. So I want the picture of the composite to go to this cone shape here. So then I can just click here, and it's going to zoom in there. Okay. To see what it looks like so far, you click on the number one over here. You can click on the show, which is over here. Let me move this box. Down here, there's a play button that says show. There it goes. And this is what your presentation looks like so far. So when you click on the arrows, you'll see it move around. And then there's moving to the next spot. So 
so there's a lot of movement going on, you can determine how much you want it to zoom in. Go ahead and explore more with Prezi, and remember, uh, read the instructions on the blog, but your Prezi needs to have information about the three types of volcanoes. It can have facts about them, for example, just like I told you, their most explosive composite. It can and must have a minimum of three pictures. If you make it more advanced, you can notice sometimes there's YouTube videos and things like that. That's up to you. But the basics are that you have facts about the three types of volcanoes. Uh, and you have to have at least three pictures. Okay, so I'll type that up and you'll see it on the blog. And if you get stuck, remember, ask an STL or ask me. Now, STLs haven't worked on this either, so they're going to also might need my help. But try the best that you can and watch this video again if you need to. That's, that is the end of this video.